in the previous session we looked at orthogonal tra trajectories in cartesian form right so let's look at uh, if the family of curves is given to us in polar form so family of curves uh, b let's say f of r theta and c equal to 0 so here c is a parameter let phi be the angle between the tangent and the radius vector of any point r comma theta on one of the members of the family so remember this the angle between tangent and the radius vector we can say tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr if this is the case of this family the angle between the tangent and the radius vectors of the orthogonal trajectories would be the negative reciprocal of this so we can say or we can replace r d theta by dr by minus 1 by r dr by d theta that means they both will be equal right so what we can do is we can say yeah, r d theta by dr is equal to minus 1 by r dr by d theta let's bring the minus sign and r to this side so we get minus r square d theta by dr is equal to dr by d theta so if you have this replace it with this if you have this replace it with this and then you will get the differential equation of the orthogonal trajectories and solve that to get the equation of the uh, orthogonal trajectories so what are the steps first step is differentiate with respect to theta second step is eliminate the parameter c so this will give us the uh, differential equation of the family of curves then the next step is replace dr by d theta by minus r square d theta by dr in the above d okay and then finally solve the b obtained above which is the de of the orthogonal trajectories let's let's actually do one or two problems to see how this works now let's say the family of curves given is r is equal to a1 minus cos theta now here a is a parameter so let's differentiate dr by d theta is equal to 0 minus of minus a sin theta which is equal to a sin theta which means a is equal to 1 by 1 by sin theta dr by d theta now we have to eliminate a from our original equation so let's take the original equation 1 minus cos theta uh, uh, substitute a so 1 by sin theta dr by d theta times 1 minus cos theta which is equal to 1 minus cos theta by sin theta dr by d theta okay so this becomes our differential equation of the given family of curves now here to get the de of the orthogonal trajectories substitute dr by d theta by minus r square d theta by dr so it becomes r is equal to 1 minus cos theta by sin theta 
times minus r square d theta by dr which is equal to let's bring this here so gets cancelled so we end up with 1 by r is equal to now now let's absorb this negative sign into this so this becomes so we get uh, cos theta or let's let's uh, hold on uh, I remembered this identity we can write this part as tan theta by 2 and this minus comes here and we get d theta by dr now if you remember these identities it becomes much more easier for you to do these problems okay so now let's bring dr to this side so dr by d theta sorry dr by r is equal to minus tan theta by 2 d theta now let's integrate we get log of r is equal to tan theta by 2 is minus 2 log of sec of theta by 2 again immediately do the differentiation to make sure that you have got everything correctly plus log of let's say a constant c constant of integration now this can be written as log r is equal to this 2 we can take it to the exponent minus 2 itself so it becomes log of sec of theta by 2 to the power of minus 2 plus log c this becomes so this can be written as log of 1 by sec square theta by 2 plus log c now 1 by sec theta is what is cos theta so we can write it as log cos square theta by 2 plus log c and this can be written as uh, log of cos square theta by 2 times c yes now remember this is log r on this side so now we can exponentiate both sides so e e so that log gets cancelled we are left with r is equal to cos square theta by 2 times c now comes the tricky part if uh, we can leave it as it is or what we can do is uh, there is some identity uh, you know uh, where we can use uh, or simplify it a little bit further if we have 2 cos square theta by 2 so if we have 2 cos square theta by 2 then this would become 1 plus cos theta now I can't just bring in 2 from anywhere right so what I'll do is to get that uh, 2 this constant which I came with log of c I will say that it is actually instead of c I will say 2b so this becomes 2b this becomes 2b this becomes 2b so this becomes 2b and that 2 from 2b can be taken to the along with cos square theta by 2 so I will end up with b times 1 plus cos theta yes because this is 1 plus cos theta so this is the solution yeah it's a little bit tricky if you remember this identity 2 cos square theta by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos theta then, then only you can go from this step to this step See, that's the beauty of this uh, constant of integration, right? <laughs> you can manipulate it the way you want it. Okay, now let's do another problem. R is equal to 2C cos theta. So, differentiate dr by d theta is equal to minus 2C sin theta. 
let's uh, rearrange it so what do we get okay now let's solve for uh, 2c so that we can do the substitution so 2c is equal to let's bring in the minus first then sine will go to the denominator and dr by d theta this 2c can be substituted here to eliminate c so r is equal to minus 1 by sine theta times dr by d theta cos theta which is equal to cos theta by sine theta is cot theta dr by d theta now let's uh, take dr by d theta to one side dr by d theta is equal to so cot theta goes to the other side and we get minus r by cot theta which is nothing but minus r tan theta take the reciprocal right so change dr by d theta to minus r square d theta by dr minus r square d theta by dr is equal to r tan theta minus so minus and minus get cancelled k okay, and after cancellations we are left with r d theta by dr is equal to tan theta now separating the variables we get dr by r is equal to is equal to t theta by tan theta okay now we integrate we get log of r is equal to log of sine theta again verify it 1 by sine theta sine theta is cos theta so cos theta by sine theta which is 1 by tan theta plus log of see in the previous uh, you know problem we ended up making changes to this later right so let's name it as k here finally we will change it to c okay so let it be log k okay now log of r is equal to log of sine theta times k now we take exponentiation on both sides so log and log gets cancelled and we are left with r is equal to sin theta k or r is equal to k sin theta okay now here we didn't have to do anything as far as the constant of integration is concerned so we could have left it as c but okay see ultimately remember this is the constant of integration irrespective of what the uh, alphabet you have used okay let's do one more looks very very simple right r is equal to a theta okay so let's differentiate dr by d theta is equal to a now let's substitute it back we get r is equal to dr by d theta theta okay now replace dr by d theta so we get r is equal to minus r square d theta by dr times theta so one of the r's get cancelled you know uh, whenever you, you you know strike out something like this make sure to put one because if it is if you don't put one uh, later on as you keep going further down the steps the tendency would be to see okay nothing is there so it must be zero so be careful about that okay so now uh, one is equal to minus r d theta by dr times theta separate out the variables so dr by r is equal to let's the minus be here d theta theta d theta now what now 
integrate this is nothing but log r this would be theta square by 2 plus log of let's say k okay now let's get rid of this 2 so this becomes 2 here and here we get 2 this becomes log of r minus 2 is equal to theta square plus log k square now uh, this is nothing but 1 by r square is equal to theta square plus log k square let's bring log square k square to this side so log 1 by r square minus log k square is equal to theta square so this can be written as 1 by r square divided by which means 1 multiplied by the reciprocal is equal to theta square yes now uh, let's exponentiate both the sides so we e to the power of so this gets cancelled and we are left with 1 by r square times 1 by k square is equal to e to the power of theta square now let's take k square to the other side so 1 by r square is equal to k square e theta square now let's take the reciprocal of both the sides so we get r square is equal to 1 by k square times e to the power of theta minus theta square it will be 1 by e theta square so uh, we just bring it to the numerator by putting minus so now uh, let's uh, take care of the square now so r is equal to 1 by k times e to the power of minus theta square by 2 right and now what we can do is we can say c is equal to 1 by k so r becomes equal to c times e to the power of minus theta square by 2 so this is the solution so you know something which is so simple to look at can create you know a little bit of complexity as we go along okay i think that's enough for today bye for now